very much been Keith Thurman a couple years ago. And Bundu loading up on that left hand over the top. Everything is looking very good so far. As he was named on many different media platforms as the 25th. With this fight, he can very well do so if he's able to get past Leonard Bundu. And a nice continues to mix in his jab. Bundu coming forward. Good action so far. Only had two draws during the course of his career and one defeat. And Spence with a sweeping right hook that caught Leonard. Nice jab again to the midsection. And that's the end of the first round. As he fought twice, once in 2014 and once in 2015 here in the States. Most recent. Spence understands what a huge victory this would be. A focused and determined young man, 26 years of age. He's a family man. He has a daughter, I. Bundu aiming to go downstairs, so ever. And that was a slip as referee in charge, Johnny. 90 seconds remain. Had a couple of fights, uh, two fights in the UK. One fight in Germany, and this is his third fight with Spence. He has such a high guard because he realizes that hook is going to come in for Bundu. And Bundu got to Spence a little. Some fans from Italy for, as you can hear in the background, you are, when you've been in the game for over a decade, and now Bundu having some success momentarily. He's got to make this a rough and tumble affair and take Spence into waters that maybe he hasn't been in. But they're exchanging here in Coney Island. Coming in and mixing it up, throwing some shots at close distance as Spence. This is the third round scheduled in on September 10th. And now Bundu throws a combination, but he gets blasted with a straight left right. Bundu. As I have Errol Spence ahead of my scorecards, two kind of ferocity and tenacity that Bundu exhibits in the course of his fight. And he, Texas native. And Bundu comes in and clips Errol Spence 25%. And a shot as Bundu loads up. But when Bundu loads up, Spence gets out of the way immediately. To be honest with you, I don't think he has an idea. He, he, he's trying to mix up his attack, but at a certain point, and then the lay in that straight left, and he mixes up the uppercut there, now goes to the body, does Errol spent. 10 seconds remaining in the third round, and then the straight left down the middle, and now we're starting to see the uppercut out of the 2012 United States Olympian. It is And Leonard Bundu going head to head here in Coney Island. They are being treated to a terrific performance so far with Errol Spence as Spence connected and landed a shot right on the top, slipping, but also got caught. And now Bundu willing to load up, but he gets lit up with a again. Measuring Leonard Bundu has him at the end of his punches. Spence is using every powerful. He gets a lot of leverage behind his punches. And he's very smart inside the ring. Spence with that sledgehammer of the left hand. Now the uppercut that backs up Bundu momentarily. And now referee when you put rips it, it off. Hey, come on over. Hey. And Johnny Callis get. And a nice shot. They are both mixing it up. And now Bundu breaking him down with the jab. And he's mixing up his attack, going to the body. 
Laser straight left with precision. These are all veteran moves on behalf of Spence. Spence realizes he 26% for Bundu, and Spence has been active as he's thrown almost 300 punches. And that's the end of round four. 12. As Errol Spence is averaging nine jabs. Errol Spence, everything comes off the jab, and we're seeing the jab followed by that very quick, reckless abandon. And the distance that Spence has is something to admire. Rather, with Spence, he's taking a couple of shots from Leonard Bundu. You know, Spence is, is a very proud family man, as girlfriend and his daughter Ivy, his mother and father, as Errol Spence is having his way with Leonard Bundu, Don Porter, Danny Garcia, and Spence with a nice right hook to the body and, and applying the forward pressure as he was. And this is that we aren't even done with the first half of connect on punches as he is having his way with Leonard Bundu. Coming up, this is ahead of my scorecard. I have him winning every single round. As Bundu, the work where you can maybe say, give him a round, absolutely not. Spence, Spence is isolating and he connects with a powerful straight left right down the middle. Now Bundu gains some leverage in his legs and his shot to the body. And now Bundu with a couple of hooks that have caught the jab, and then that is followed by a straight left down the pipe. Danger. And an uppercut, and down goes Bundu! Was that a push? Down, but it appeared as if the punch led to Bundu being down. You wonder if he has got to be careful to Spence, but now Spence going to work, and he drops Bundu, and this one could be over! Oh, this one is over. Kel Brook, you have signaled that young man, the 26-year-old out of DeSoto, Texas, more. Errol Spence, let's take a look at some of the work and that he goes down. And here, oh, what a shot. And Spence knew it. Here we see the right hand, the right hook, and Spence knew it immediately when he connected and he says the 